breaking coverage tonight on a double shooting in Hampton. Police are investigating. It happened on Webster Street near East Mercury Boulevard. Ten on your sides, Marielena Belores talked to neighbors who say they are concerned about their safety. Brandy, it's unclear what led to two men going to the hospital with gunshot wounds this afternoon. What is clear, neighbors are tired of the violence. Well, I heard the gunshot. Lisa Christopher thought it was a firecracker. It wasn't until she walked onto Webster Street on Sunday afternoon that she realized what was going on. We came up and walked up this way, and he was still laying in the ground and beside his car on the other side of his car. What she saw didn't surprise her. It happens It hap when it happens, you know. It can happen in the middle of the night. It can happen just like it did today. But it did upset her, adding to her family's constant state of fear. I mean, it's terrible to have your kids worry about, you know, what's going on. Police got the call of shots fired around 1.30 Sunday afternoon on Webster Street. They found a man with a gunshot wound. He was taken to a hospital. While they were working on that investigation, police heard that another man with a gunshot wound had just arrived at the hospital. He's being treated for life-threatening injuries. Police say right now the investigation shows both victims were shot blocks apart. That's leaving neighbors with a sense of uneasiness. My safety is in line, you know what I mean? I could be a victim just going, getting a drink. Abdullah Dodd moved into the neighborhood a few months ago. He and one of his fellow classmates say they've never seen anything like this. Yellow tape right next door, that's something to keep in mind. It's very uncomfortable. I didn't expect to see something like this, so I'm just kind of shocked at the moment. And they're all hoping they don't have to see it again. 10 on your side is still working to learn the reasons behind this shooting and what the conditions are of the men who were injured. We'll be sure to keep that keep you updated as that information becomes available. I'm Maria Elena Belores, 10 on your side.